Good afternoon to everyone. This is the power of healing with Otabi. It's been long since we upload our video. Ne? And I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, I've rested enough. And looking forward to my next season. Um, a lot of people would be like, how? season? How? Uh, it will take me forever to explain that. However, we are spiritual people, and in spirituality, your spirit, your spirit self need a rest, need to be maintained, because it's in those more as a strain us, and it takes Abandu who really uh, uh, understand it to, yeah, or Abasebenzangayo to understand it to the. The calling in itself is strain us, therefore, the gift in itself needs you to maintain your well being as well. And that is all uh, um, dependent on your purpose. Or in Lela, we know it at Tengayo Lento. So, yeah. Yeah, I've rested uh, first and foremost in Jefuti. I just want to thank everybody who sent me a message on my birthday. Um, really appreciate that, guys. I had a wonderful time. Um, you know, before I start with the video of today, as you saw, or the topic of today, as you saw the topic saying, the art of communication with the unseen, um... I want to mention a few things, guys. The world is changing. And it, it, it takes uh, people who are really gifted to understand uh, what is happening around us. Uh, a lot, the, 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 the atmosphere in which we live in is changing. And the... Um, as, as, as all of that is changing, um, the vibrations are changing and therefore our energies are changing, right? Uh, I can talk about the full moon and the sun, what's happening, but um, I think it takes people who are really gifted or spiritually inclined to understand what's going on. So as I said, our energies are changing, right? Yeah. But a new collab, I want to talk about... Oh, I want to say... Um, spirituality is really not about fulfilling your own desires. And, and your own greed but rather um, healing the unseen yeah. it is about healing the unseen or giving peace to the unseen yeah. the spiritual journey is, 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 is a, a test of time as well as a test of your endurance, enduring things. Um, endurance in terms of challenges and a test of patience or perseverance. Abandabaning uh, fail when it comes to endurance or enduring the gift itself or enduring the journey itself. It is a gift of it is a test of time, guys. Um, and we cannot rush time. We have been given the gift of time, but we cannot rush it. We are not in control of it. So the spiritual journey in itself is a test of time and endurance. Uh, we have been privileged ne, with a gift 
of communicating and understanding the unseen world. We have been given that grace to understand it and communicate with it. We are not entitled to rewards of what we do, but rather it is, it is a privilege and a blessing uh, to get results or to get uh, acknowledgement by that world at the end of the day and in acknowledgement seeing the results of your work. That is not an ent entitlement. We're not entitled to anything because as Abant, we believe that we've got a gift and now the gift comes with uh, the supernatural powers and now we are entitled to things. That is why we are not entitled to anything, guys. It is by the grace of our ancestors and, and the higher authority. Um, the, the journey in itself is not about understanding Amatonga um, Pel or knowing so that you can heal. Because as I said, we're not healing the we are not healing the sin. And this is where people get it wrong. We are not healing what we see. So it the, the journey in itself has a lot to do with now a footy. You cannot, you cannot begin to understand ancestors and the, their ways and how they communicate and how they do things if you do not know yourself, if you are not grounded to what you have been called for, if you understand, if you don't understand yourself. You cannot begin to think that you understand the unseen if you if you don't understand the the the, the, the visible or the or the ordinary reality. I speak a lot about um, I speak a lot about in alignment and people don't understand what alignment means. And it will take a lot of of or it will take most people years to understand what alignment is. Alignment is not only about amatonga, amadozi, tunga, imimoya, but it is about you. Alignment starts with you. Knowing you inside out helps you understand into yenzayo. Helps you understand the vibrations and the communication of the messages that have been sent to you. I spoke about intuition, intuition about um, in in some of my videos. Alignment means understanding seasons and understanding the vibrations of seasons within your space. And in between, that will want to shift me from my direction. Being able to have that communication with yourself and understanding yourself and how you operate or how you uh, control your emotions and your, your mental well being, the balance within your space which is you that is alignment that is understanding and being spiritually inclined or completely spiritually inclined because before singa understand amathonga before singa khuluma amathonga namadlozi neithunya pane thina sizi understand eqala One thing I know, or a, a few things I know about spirituality, is that it is not proud, nor is it self-absorbed. 
spirituality is never proud or does not use pride as well uh every day no you know um the most interesting thing that or the most in interesting or fulfillment i've got from the journey is the lessons of all the things the lessons uh, as I was as, as I was busy uh, preparing for my birthday, someone who knows me, I think knows me pretty well, or, or knows me seventy percent, said to me, "Tabile, you have grown." You have grown in age, but you have matured in a lot of things, and. Yes, I've been matured um, early in life, but also to mature with age and in every aspect of your life, of your life, takes a lot of pain. <coughs> <coughs> it takes a lot of pain, a lot of challenges, a lot of understanding, a lot of humbleness a lot of things and as well as jolly blade but one thing that i want is uh, i want us to understand we are not entitled to anything just because we are spiritually gifted or just because they are called or just because we are not entitled to anything we are not entitled to power just because It is by the grace and being privileged to answer uh, to answer to that calling, but also understanding the calling, the full responsibilities of the calling. That is why she's also told us that there is in though is wrong about doing is promising people uh, miracles and magic, which we are not capable for. Anyways, that's not the topic. I wanted to speak about the art of communication, which is um, and uh, in this case, your basket. Because when you understand spirituality, you would understand the symbolism that each item in your in your basket has, and and what role it plays. I know a lot of times since the last dinner, and we buy a lot of things. We buy a lot of things as we like to know my zoom negative so i'm going to touch a few a few that have not been mentioned before um or as an aziwa which is issue team is a cool in because i make people bring offerings guys mina i mina every client brings an offering and i give them a choice which is it's up to you so so today i thought let me let me explain the importance maybe in in depth of of the offering kodwa angizwe ukuyichaza yona in full as a basket ngifuna ukuyichaza individually we bring um or maybe try to 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 uh, combine it with the significance of each item that we bring the meaning behind each item or how is it seen or read in the in the spiritual world remember that that world is a world where i've, I've seen a lot of people that i go with by your partner ne? and 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 i can tell you it's only 10 percent that understands what you look part it's only 10% that understands the art of a path. So I, I make people bring their own things. And within the basket, then I give them some sort of work. Or I give them directive on what to do. But they sometimes people bring things because... Gulama videos, S Y N Z, on YouTube, we talk about these things. 
but as is explaining, as is causing in the Labantabazos understand and a corner. No ma, sitat is in to because somebody else said this. I've, I've, I've heard about Impupu, for instance, I've heard about Image Mill. There's a difference between Image, which is Umbila, and Amaze Mill or a Mili Mili, Impupu. A lot of people uh, symbolize Impupu as. Uh, okay, uh, of, 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 of riches or wealth, an offering of riches or wealth. Whereas, um, for me, umnigelo or a symbolism in the spiritual world of 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 umkebo or wealth would be would, would be imaze umbila. So, I'm not going to go into details. Why in Gizon Chile is in but that's that's my space, and I'm going to go back to my space. So, Impupu represents symbolizes something else, but definitely not umkebo the way we we or the way people uh, 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 tell it. The, the the prayer of um wealth the prayer of um table the ritual of bringing you offering um table hey hey kusha ngaya gude man kusha ngakulume zinga utike ngimshi elap um so I wanna speak about let let me start this let me let me start with sample so, something that a lot of people or is not common or some some people abagnaki starting with a rice. Symbolism of a rice is irrepentance. It's it's abundance. And it's 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 patience. Abundance, repentance, patience, a plea, repentance. Uguti masses or seven this rice. As umnikel or sizo patlanya rice, usugu kolisa for isn't they tease right? Usugu kolisa lint is the tease. Ukela impumelelo. Ukela patience, which is kanje hini ki patience nge sizo luti off. Okay, so asking for patience within yourself. To, se- to to persevere in not rushing things or in not trying to use your own strength uktholi zinto mawo sebenza isirayi so sokukhuluma ngale zozinto lezo sokugubo or mhlambe ebanti or the spirit wells or our spirit guides or other our ancestral guides usuku mawo zoba nikelela irayi mawo zophahla nge rayi uzithela usukucela usukukhuluma ngale zozinto lezo and then i go to um Okay. Also, it writes, guys, when moving to, uh, when when moving into a new house, yeah, there is a ritual that is done with it writes, yeah, to change the negative energy into a positive energy. We we sprinkle it writes around the house or on a pan. This is a new house. Okay, oh, I work differently, guys, and in my space, a lot of things are different, or the understanding is different. So, it's, it's, it's a way of, 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 of changing, because we need to understand the, 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 the techniques, or the arts in which we communicate with Abandabadal. So, yeah, as I've said... When you're moving into a new house, you can still do that. But there's a lot of things that you can do. But um, I'm talking about logo sequence that offering is in the must pass logo sequence. So someone would ask, is it cooked rice or is it raw rice? It's raw rice. And then we go to now impupu. I wanted to get into this one again where I said there's a difference between impupu, which is maize, mili mil, maize meal. 
ni maize mbila or some may say corn but corn is totally different eh e popo guys ishi daily e nini mau party e popo ishi daily nini um one thing that it says it's a need for spiritual renew, renewal and healing in book a need for a spiritual healing and spiritual renewal uzocela la ukuthi engathi ninga ngiphi umoya omusha ozokwazi ukubekezela noku understand my journey but in also understanding my my journey ngiqole bese ngiqole mina ukuze ngikwazi ukuqolela nina that's what impul impul symbolizes or the significance of impul puma okay also oh sorry I said well wealth and 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 so it's going to get is is fortune yes yeah so umbila would represent fortune of course uh impopu guys is also about ikaya nekaya the one thing that you will never lack in a home or a house is in poop as may as male right the one thing you would never lack so if ntata in poop and then your partner i am building a foundation it is an offering of of a new foundation okay ngizonxela ukuthi nibe ngibe yikhaya lenu angazi noma ke azwakala yini ngizonxela ukuthi ngibe yikhaya lenu okay um yeah let me let me let me not skip uh because there is all, because there's also um grains um but i will touch on ama grains later on let's just go uh, about it step by step so i want to talk about ama fruits because um ama fruits actually mean different or oh, each individual fruits have a different symbol or a, a significance right um so fruits are uh, symbolize living one's life with good intentions and morals as well as doing good things for other people that is the symbol of of a fruit offering living one's life with good motives and morals and doing good things for others as well that's what she, the significance of giving or all passion ama fruits you cannot go uyo passion ama fruits and you are telling below your mind because they symbolize different things they symbolize life and that this the different aspects of life they symbolize good motives and intentions about other people as well so yeah um uh a good also i said in this one fruits also symbolize sorry ish and cyborg and writing them fruits also symbolize a good harvest in pro in prosperity what do i mean by a good husband ngizotshala it's it's like you say ngizotshala um imbewentsha nani 
no mangizo tela impumele lo also pros um, 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 an offering of prosperity an offering of a good a good har harvest which is positive results from what I'm doing now that's what my fruit symbolizes uh there are fruits that represent different things guys ne? some fruits represent healing some fruits represent power some fruits represent luck so let me let me get into the fruit space or maybe just give you an example of of indian kulumanai there's fruits like i'm an orange or the okay Fruits that symbolize luck would be your oranges and tangerines. Fruits that represent power. If you know e e e pomegranate, that is the fruit of power. It symbolizes power. When when you go to ask for power in certain things, you would use that. Pomegranate represents life and fertility. When you go uyo pasha uyo tselumtwana, make sure you have pomegranate in your basket. Because it's a fruit of fertility. I can explain about the seeds inside it and what they do. But my advice is that when you go to upasha, for fertility or a child you can use a pomegranate so it is also known as a miracle fruit or the gift of god right a pomegranate i'm not sure what it is to be honest with you yeah uh, but if the, the seeds inside symbolize a lot of things so that is why it, it's called a, a miracle fruit uh now when you want something that symbolizes wealth and also symbolizes friendship not fortune but wealth a pineapple is a fruit of wealth and also symbolizes friendship a new friendship or, or, or uh, forming a friendship with your ancestors as well for e youth, e youth and life, the a new beginning youth life, um, celebration of e youth or, or symbolizing, um, an offering of 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 ubusha bento. Um, you can use ama peaches. And then uh, the the. The healing, the, the fruit of healing, or the fruit that symbolizes healing, would be your citrus fruits. Still the same. Or oh, I'm an orange, your, 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 your grapefruit, your narges, uh, but yeah, citrus fruits mostly. Your lemons, your grapefruit, I did mention. That would be a symbol of uh, healing. So basically, that is why we always have an um, orange in our basket. Reason being, you are not giving yourself healing. The spiritual journey, guys, or what we have been called for, or the, the, the gift that we have been given, some of us, is to being able to heal the spiritual so that one may experience peace and fulfillment in the physical. That is what healing is all about. We don't start, we don't heal, we're not healing ourselves, we're not healing our physical selves, but we heal the spiritual so that they may find rest. Angit? Papumu, lebesek etina siapila. Um, a fruit that, that would symbolize happiness would be bananas. <laughs> bananas. If you're giving an offering of happiness, of, of, of seeking happiness and fulfillment, that would be your bananas. A fruit that symbolizes um, yeah, success, success and hope. 
would be your apples. I need to in jelly basket to go to your former ranchers. Would be your apples. And the symbol of a woman. Beans and grains. And, and grain. Oh, no, sorry. No, 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 no. Whoa. So, hey, my no time. So, success and hope would be your apple. And also, an apple comes as a symbol of being a woman or of a woman. Symbol of, it's, it's, it symbolizes a woman. Okay. Uh, in most cases, and offering, an apple will do. But I need to give you a feather, ne, guys. I need to give you a cool. So, and then we come to beans and grains. 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 In the Ivana, no oats. Um, people bring, bring beans. People bring you oats. Um, that symbolizes money. As they resemble a coin. A lot of times I need some grains that my beans are around. So they resemble a coin, which would be a symbol of money or asking for imali. An offering of, of, of imali. Peanuts represent stability, prosperity, and wealth as well. They, they symbolize an offering of prosperity. Uh, um, stability and wealth. Um, okay, and then we come to sweets. Now, with 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 each thing that we give as an offering, or must pass on, you guys. Um, in the day, me to it. So, I just nike pezo. I just took it from the top. There's there's more to other things, and and I can't I I I, I don't really want to dwell on candles, snake, uh, ugwai, cigarettes, and all of that because it's all it's overdone. Now we get to sweets, where it symbolizes finding happiness in whatever you love doing. When you give an offering of sweets. It symbolizes finding happiness in whatever that you're doing. Okay. It is also it also symbolizes goodness, pleasure, reward, but sweets can also in some instances symbolize temptation. <laughs> and okay, I think it all de depends on the vibration or the energies at the moment when you pass. Gutuyela gupi. No ma iskelo sako siyela gupi. Where you're going with your offering, it goes there. Fulfilling your, your desires. When it comes to love and affection, that's what sweets also symbolizes. Depends on what you are doing at that moment. So when you 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 you, you giving an offering of fulfilling your desires and affection of uh, an affection of um, the desires of love and affection. Oh, okay. Let me yeah. Your, your desires of love and affection. Friendship. It also symbolizes a reward. Um, of, of an offering of reward. Um, maybe, uh, not maybe, but if some, you have achieved something, then you give sweets as an offering of of reward so yeah guys as i said um there's a lot of things that people do and bring but they all represent a lot of things there's 
we can talk about alcohol and what it represents. Um, my, my, my concern is that we take tradition ne, and try to mix it with spirituality. And we get confused within that mist. Um, Upat again, we are traditionally. And Upat again, we are forced to fulfill the spirits. That is the only communication we've been taught to do. Or we know how to do. So, as soon as in such a way that we confuse ourselves even and confuse the energies that are surrounding you at that moment. Um, hey, but I'm not against it. I'm not saying I'm against it. I allow people to do it. I do allow people limited, of course. But get not to draw, you cannot go your path and a pante. Mutala listening to guys. And you and, and I think in Yang I video about things that are cooked. Uh, yeah. Um there's a lot. There's Amabele. Oh, there's bread, which symbolizes a foundation as well. You know? Uh bread is seen as the food of life. But also bread now when we come to uh, in the spirit's corner. Uh, if, if, you were to, if you were to be told that you have to do an offering to Abalus, you would use bread, you would use... Um, I don't want to get into that. Don't confuse. Good what spirits need what. And for the years I video because I'm not confuse. Yeah. So... You know, it's been ama it's, uh, it's amazing actually now that I think about it because I have been uh, give, instructed to give an offering of fish. Hmm. But yeah, that's, that's my corner, not yours. No, no, it's, it's just something that came to mind that Gonje, I, I got that instruction the other day and maybe I never thought about it. So yeah. Guys, I hope you've learned. I just wanted to share this one. How do we communicate with the items that we have on our baskets? Thank you so much. And I hope you do. Uh, um, you, we do learn. It is, it is my next season. And hopefully, um, I will teach you more. Yeah, but um, I'm not going to dwell on, on, on YouTube that much. Um, goodness, cut away. You need to cut off certain things things to feel to fulfill certain things and i work with seasons and different seasons demand different things so love you guys